Hey guys, how's it going? Robert Warshak here, and they definitely shook things up this year at BlizzCon with the announcement of a new Hearthstone mode. This is the first mode that they've actually introduced in the game in quite some time. I believe Tavern Brawl was the last thing they really changed, and that was years ago. Um, we have now Hearthstone Battlegrounds. So at first, I was thinking maybe it would be what we've been all been hoping for, you know, a meta that is constantly in flux where we can play different cards each and every month or every couple months. But actually, uh, with the rise of auto chesses or auto battlers, Hearthstone dev team decided that they were going to give it a shot and do a somewhat uh, like a Hearthstone auto chess-esque um, like mode in the game uh, looks pretty interesting and I was like going through reading it and trying to figure out how they would do it and It looks like it's gonna be pretty neat and um, It's nothing like we've seen before and it's nothing like that is currently out there um, So I'll do my best to kind of describe how it's gonna go down and what all this means So first things first when can you play the new game mode? It's actually really really soon um, if you've pre-ordered uh, the purchase bundle which it doesn't specify which one so I'm assuming it's the 60 uh, pack or the hundred pack uh, you you have a BlizzCon attendee or have bought in the uh, BlizzCon virtual ticket, you'll have access to this game mode November 5th, which is next Tuesday. That's really, really soon. And uh, I'm really support surprised about how quickly, you know, like that's that's new game mode psh, next week. Psh, that's like good stuff, right? Uh, if you don't have any of these things, you haven't pre-ordered, you don't have the BlizzCon ticket, and you didn't go to BlizzCon, not to worry. You guys can play a week later at November 12th, uh, which is, again, only a week and a half away. So if you, you know, if you haven't pre-ordered, no big deal. You just wait a week, watch it on stream or something like that, and you'll be able to play it literally a week later. Also, it mentions that it'll be launching with a fully functioning tutorial, which is good. So for those of you who are brand new to Hearthstone or have never experienced any sort of like auto chess or auto battler before, um, that's really cool that they're actually going to be putting a tutorial in there um, because a lot of the times with the new game modes, you know, they might overlook something like that. So that's really good. All right, so heading into the intricacies of Hearthstone Battlegrounds and the format and how it kind of plays out, uh, are we going to be seeing the same nine classes play against each other and build decks and, you know, buy heroes? And the answer is no. We're actually going to see 24 different heroes. Each of those heroes has their own hero power, and obviously the synergies with those and the cards that we get are going to work differently than if we were to just play with the normal, you know, mage, warrior, rogue, and all that good stuff. So that's really good news that we're going to have new heroes. And as we can see here, a quick example would be like Melissa, or Maleficent, Man, a storm passively increases all mech minions that appear in Bob's tavern uh, to gain an additional one plus one. So obviously, mana storm works seemingly really well with mechs, and that's you know that might be a good way to go with that particular hero. So how do you pick in a hero? Just like in arena, where it randomly gives you three of the nine. In this, if you've opened zero of the new packs with the new set, it'll give you two of the twenty-four, and if you've opened more than twenty of the new packs, it'll give you three of twenty-four. So you actually have a little bit wider choosings if you open up at least twenty of the new packs. So it kind of gives people an incentive um, to open you know, or buy packs um, so you can get one more hero pick if the two that it originally offers aren't for you. So in this format, uh, rather than building a deck um, and you build, you know, your deck around your class and then there's 30 cards in a deck, uh, you're actually going to uh, construct an ever evolving board of minions. And then in between rounds, you're going to go to Bob's Tavern, which you can buy and sell uh, minions that he has to offer you. And you buy and sell these with gold. Um, basically instead of mana and going up to 10 mana, you have the ability to go up to 10 gold. Um, each minion or each card, it says it costs three gold to buy. And if you sell one, you actually get one back. Very similar to auto chesses, you can actually take minions if we scroll down here. So for example, if we have a void walker, which is normally a one three taunt minion, if we put three void walkers together, it'll actually make the minion golden. So it'll be a golden void walker and then he'll have two six in stats. Um, so very similar to the auto chess uh, variants where if you collect three of the same one, it upgrades it into a level two star. In this format, it's actually going to give you a, a golden portrait and then it's going to uh, increase the minion stats along with any abilities it may have. Arranging your minions onto the board is also very important. So I'm assuming direwolf again, you know, it buffs is, buffs the minion to the left and the right of it. So making sure direwolf is in between two minions is going to be really important. And I'm sure they'll add other board, you know, impactful cards to this. So there's a lot of synergies and a lot of ways to position your minions. Um, there's all going to also be all of the same abilities. So for example, like poisonous and divine um, shield and um, death rattle, all of those effects will still be in the game. So when a minion with poisonous attacks a minion that you know doesn't have poisonous or is a higher HP, it's going to kill it off immediately. How the attacks go is, it, from what I understand, um, 
each player's minion will attack moving from the left to the right. So if you're going first, your minion on the left will attack one of their random minions. Then one of their minions on the, uh, the very left will attack your minion and it'll go back and forth until there are no minions left and the damage has been dealt. And then whoever wins the round based on what minions still stay alive. So will there be a ranking system? Thankfully, yes. Uh, very similar to other TFT games. Again, the lobby of how many players are in a match is eight, uh, including yourself. So with that, uh, the key is you want to come in the top four. So in the first, second, third, and fourth place, we'll all move up in ranks if you that's where you've placed. Or if you move uh, or if you place in the bottom five, you know, five, six, seven, or eight, you'll actually move down in ranks. Very similar to what we've seen in TFT. So preparing to enter the battlegrounds, how's this going to work? Once it makes its way into Hearthstone again next week, it'll be accessible through the modes button. And it, while access to the battlegrounds will be completely free with everyone with a Hearthstone account. So it doesn't actually cost anything to get into uh, like Arena where it costs um, gold. This will actually be free for any player wanting to get in there and it doesn't cost a thing. So overall, I'm down for a new mode of anything, anything that shakes up the game or adds anything else we can do besides normal, you know, wild and standard mode is going to be a plus for me. Uh, they took a step here on something that nobody's doing right now, doing a sort of like an auto battle or card game. We'll see if it works out. I haven't actually played it yet, but it looks pretty exciting. It looks pretty different. So I'm going to give it a go. And uh, if it ends up being really cool, it's going to be really cool. And if it ends up being, being really bad, we'll see. Right. Um, I think it's, you know, like, like I mentioned, anything that's different is, is going to be a plus for me just to keep hearthstone spicy uh, and um you know I, I i am surprised by this direction i'm not gonna lie this was a pretty bold move and uh, we'll see if it works out cotton so with that i'd love to see how you guys are in taking all this i mean it's a lot and when this uh, new mode comes out again i'll be playing it i'll be making tutorials on it and i'll be doing guides on it without being able to actually play it i'm not going to make a guide on it i just wanted to cover the basics for you guys um, because i'm not going to go into great detail about something that i can't actually play and can prove that i'm actually decent at um so with that thank you for watching again your in your inputs are really important here this is a, this is a there's a lot of stuff and i would uh, i'm interested to hear your feedback on it guys so with that thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode of course i'm robert warshak and happy whatever the hell day it is